gentle. Good girl, good girl, there you go. Good girl. Very gentle, little tiny, tiny infinitesimal change. Good kissy, good girl, there you go. Good dog. Gentle, gentle, good dog. Why do you give little tiny treats? One, because we're working on something and you know, I want to be sure I don't give her too much of a good thing, but also, and more importantly, so she has to be more careful with those choppers. Ouch! Gentle, good girl, what a good dog, give me a kiss. Good dog. She didn't actually do anything wrong, it's just I felt her teeth slightly and I want to show to everybody how you handle it. Don't freak out on the dog. Don't get angry. Just let him know, oh, that's scary. That hurt. She lays down, tries to be sweet and make up for it. That's what you want the dog to do. Good dog. And guess, oh, that's a baby's good girl. Now, what do you do if the dog doesn't respond that way? Then you get up, you out you him, act scared, and then leave the room. You want to teach the dog that, you know, if you scare me or anything like that, then I can't play with you. We can't be friends anymore. Leave the room for a few seconds and you come back. Good kissy, sweetheart. Encourage the dog to do behaviors like that. You know, lay down, give kisses, any sort of sweet behavior. We want that as opposed to anything scary. Good babies. Yeah. Is there a particular way you want to give the dog the treats? Yes, put your fingers in the dog's mouth, just like I do. Make them have to lick at it. Mm -hmm. Make them have to, you know, negotiate their teeth with your fingers so that you can make sure that the dog knows what being gentle means. These are little tiny, I'm giving her crumbs. I'm breaking already small treats into like pieces that are, I don't know, like half of a green pea. Good baby, that's good. Yeah, that's a good girl. What about if someone has a dog that's starting out a little on the rough side? How should they give the treats? If they're starting out rough, then what you can do, just have it flat in your hand and work up to actually putting your fingers in their mouths and definitely hand feed every single meal that the dog has until you get to the point where you can put tiny little crumbs in their mouth just like that. Good girl, good girl. And good is this girl. something that you only do with a dog of a certain age or is it something you wanna keep doing? Good girl. You always work on being gentle. You work on bite inhibition for the entirety of the dog's life. Um, now generally, if you start with a puppy, by the time you're, you know, through adolescence, that dog will be fine and everything will be, you know, the way that it should be. And I don't necessarily insist that, you know, oh, you should hand feed the dog forever, um, provided you're happy with the dog's behavior. I personally do hand feed my dogs. I don't care if Sura is now 10 years old. I don't care how old she is. She'll be hand fed for the rest of her life. But I know a lot of people you know, they, they uh, you know, don't feel like they want to spend that much time hand feeding the dog. It's only five minutes twice a day, but you know, some people don't want to spend all that time. And what I suggest is, you know, hand feed them when they're young. And then, you know, when they're adults, just, you know, do it occasionally. Give treats like this occasionally. Um, and for people who get a rescue like Sewer was a rescue when I got her definitely recommend hand feeding to strengthen that bond and make sure the dog has as gentle mouth as you can get good girl good girl and you know when you're happy with how the dog is you know your dog is perfect for you um, you know you don't have to hand feed but it's something I'm a huge 
huge fan of. Good girl. Yeah, you're so gentle. Look at you. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I can't eat anymore. Yeah, you sure do. Mm -hmm.